वेलकम बैक गाइस दिस इज अनदर वीडियो रिलेटेड टू डॉकर लास्ट वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट द रेस्ट एपीआई हाउ टू डिप्लॉय अ रेस्ट एपीआई इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिप्लॉय द वन वेब एप्लीकेशन यूजिंग थेम लीफ एंड दिस इज विद द डेटाबेस सो हियर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न डॉकर कंपोज फाइल हाउ टू क्रिएट डॉकर कंपोज फाइल एंड व्हाट इज द नीड ऑफ डॉकर कंपोज फाइल फर्स्ट आई विल शो यू द विच एप्लीकेशन वी डिप्लॉयड दिस टाइप ऑफ एप्लीकेशन वी डिप्लॉय इन दैट सर्वर एंड वी एक्सेस बाय यूजिंग दिस वी एक्सेस बाय यूजिंग दिस एंड पॉइंट लाइक अनदर एंड पॉइंट एंड हियर आई आई एम जस्ट डिसाइड टू चेंज वन मशीन What is that machine? We use Ubuntu in this video. For this video, we prepare a note as well. Okay. So this is the all notes. So this is about total agenda. So now first is Docker Compose. What is the Docker Compose? Okay. So now Docker Compose is running a single click. Uh, सिंगल क्लिक वेन यू डॉकर कंपोज रन देन इट विल रन मल्टीपल कंटेनर्स एट ए वंस लाइक वी राइट ना लास्ट वीडियो वी लर्न मेनुअली राइट कंटेनर लाइक वन कंटेनर वी रनिंग यूजिंग स्टैंड अलोन एप्लीकेशन सेकेंड इन द वेब एप्लीकेशन थर्ड इन द रेस्ट एप एप्लीकेशन बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रन दीज एप्लीकेशन बाई यूजिंग सिंगल क्लिक और लाइक सिंगल कमांड सो वी यूज कंपोज फाइल सो यू कैन गट माई आइडिया मीन्स इट विल मल्टी कंटेनर मेंबल फाइल लाइक कंपोज इज इज प्लग इन इज देयर यू कैन से or you can say like this is the tool also compose in that it's comparing uh, like kubernetes next type after this sessions i will start kubernetes uh, so this is the alternative of kubernetes docker is providing is the what is that containers sorry compose files okay so kubernetes is the orchestration tool like right? it will automatically uh, deploy that uh, up the containers down the container restart the containers it will do automatically don't do anything but here we need to do some manually work if the container is stopped then go and run that container auto scalability is not there so that uh, docker people some assume that they provide a one compose file and you can decide uh define as a service how many service you want just mention that service and run okay i think aapko kuch idea hua hoga to ek bar hindi mein bol dete hain apne bhai theek hai apan to aisa hi hai hindi english to hum padhate hain hai na chalo theek hai bata dete hain kya hai multi container yaar kya kuch nahi hai simple hai dekho compose kya देखो अपने पास चार सर्विस है मान लो ना अपने पास चार एप्लीकेशन है ठीक है एक दो तीन चार ठीक है वी हैव फोर एप्लीकेशन अब इनको हमें रन करना पड़ेगा तो वैसे कैसे करेंगे पहले हम इसको बिल्ड करेंगे इसको बिल्ड करेंगे इसको बिल्ड करेंगे इसको बिल्ड करें इसको बिल्ड करें कर लिया हमने पहले बिल्ड एक एक बार हमने बिल्ड कर लिया ये अब दोबारा क्या करेंगे हम इसको रन करेंगे इसको रन करेंगे फर्स्ट बिल्ड ठीक फिर रन फिर रन मतलब बिल्ड ऊपर नीचे होगा कोई बात नहीं बिल्ड बिल्ड पहले हम चारों एप्लीकेशन को अपने बिल्ड कर लेंगे उसके बाद हम इनको रन करेंगे ठीक है तो ये चार प्रोसेस हो गए बिल्डिंग रन की तो यही चार प्रोसेस को कम कर दिया कंपोज फाइल ने अब कंपोज फाइल हम क्या करेंगे एक कंपोज फाइल बनाएंगे ठीक है ये हमने कंपोज फाइल बनाई कंपोज फाइल ठीक है कंपोज फाइल बनाई और इसे मैंने सर्विस वन एज ए सर्विस ले लिया ठीक है आ, मतलब ये मान लो कुछ मेरी हो गई सर्विस पेमेंट ऐप पेमेंट रेस पेमेंट माइक्रो सर्विस हो गई ये गेटवे माइक्रो सर्विस हो गई ये रजिस्ट्री माइक्रो सर्विस हो गई 
सम लाइक क्वेरी माइक्रो सर्विस हो गई ठीक है चार सर्विसेस हो गई अब ये क्या करेंगे ना हमें चारों सर्विस रन करनी है और ये क्या करेंगे डिफरेंट डिफरेंट कंटेनर में मेंटेन करें ऐसा नहीं कि एक ही कंटेनर बना देगा ये कंपोज सोचते हो कि एक ही हर अप करने पे ये बना देगा नहीं ये डॉकर पे अलग अलग चार मशीनें बना देगा ठीक है ये ध्यान रखना ये डॉकर भी ना जो एक कंटेनर होता है ये खुद में एक मशीन है खुद में एक लीनेक्स मशीन आई विल शो यू डोंट वरी आई विल शो यू दैट पॉइंट आल्सो लाइक यक्सी बाय यूजिंग यक्सी यू कैन गो इनसाइड दैट लाइक व्हिच वन इनसाइड द कंटेनर यू कैन गो और यू कैन चेक योर एप्लीकेशंस लाइक समथिंग ओके बीच एप्लीकेशन यू आर रनिंग ओके इफ इट इज पॉसिबल टाइम इज प्लस Then I will show that point also. तो मिल गया ओवर भी मिल गया भाई अब चार एप्लीकेशन है अभी चार सर्विसेस है बट अभी मेरे पास क्या सा एप्लीकेशन है देखो एक कहा बता दू एड कर लेते हैं पेज ठीक है यहाँ पे अभी मेरे पास एक एप्लीकेशन है ठीक है ये एप्लीकेशन है ये कौन सा है स्प्रिंग बूट बेब ऐप है ठीक है ठीक है इसमें कम फॉर्म है एक ठीक है और सबमिट बटन है ठीक है जैसे ये सबमिट करेगा ना तो एक पेज खुलेगा जो भी डेटा हमने एंटर करा बिच बिच टाइप ऑफ डेटा यू हैव प्रोवाइड इन दिस फॉर्म द डेटा विल शो द अनदर पेज राइट एंड द डेटा विल स्टोर व्हेन यू प्रेस ऑन दिस डेटा विल स्टोर वेयर वेयर डेटा इज द स्टोर Go back, yeah, man. Where is that? Okay, home shape is data. Okay, inside the database, it will store. Like record is the store here. Got it. So application app was just a email. Okay, the application is done. Okay. ये बैब आप हो गया आपका जैसे बैब आप हो गया ये बैब आप क्या कर रहा है आपको इंटरेक्ट कर रहा है इसके साथ के नहीं आया बढ़ जा ठीक है ये इंटरेक्ट कर रहा है आपके डेटाबेस के साथ ठीक ये क्या है आपका बैब आप स्प्रिंग बूट वेब ऐप यह अरे क्यों दे दिया मैंने यार इसको समझाने के लिए ये डी है तो अभी क्या होगा वेब ऐप अपना एक अलग कंटेनर रन होगा ठीक ये एक अलग कंटेनर पे रन होगा कोई शेप मिले मुझे तो मैं तो दे दे दिखा दू हम्म ये ठीक है तो अब क्या होगा ना ये जो एप्लीकेशन है तुम्हारा ये स्प्रिंग बूट का एप्लीकेशन है ये मान लो तुम्हारा क्या होगा ये हो गया एडब्ल्यू एस ठीक है और मान लो डॉकर अब तक के लिए डॉकर मान लो डॉकर है ये ठीक है इट्स अ डॉकर ठीक है इस डॉकर में मेरे को दोनों कंटेनर दो कंटेनर बनेंगे भाई ठीक है एक कंटेनर एक कंटेनर एंड डुप्लीकेट एंड सेकंड कंटेनर अब इस जो भी है ना ये इसको डुप्लीकेट करो अब ये डेटाबेस हाँ अब डेटाबेस रन होगा इस कंटेनर के अंदर ठीक है अब एप्लीकेशन है तुम्हारा अरे हमारा एप्लीकेशन रन होगा क्या होगा उल्टा होगा भाई इसको कैसे सीधा करेंगे यार हटा दो भाई इसको डुप्लीकेट दोबारा कर लो कुछ भी हो सकता है ठीक है तो अब ये इस कंटेनर के अंदर रन होगा ठीक है तो मैं लिख दू यहाँ पे सी वन एंड सी टू अब ये डेटाबेस इससे इंटरेक्ट करेगा 
no, sorry, your application interact with this database and data will come past the data and show inside your pages, web pages. So this application, it will do like, work like that. So just uh, go first the, the steps using which we will use Ubuntu. So, what do we do? First, we will Spring Boot web application with the database. So, I have already made it. Okay, so these steps are done. Okay, then the Docker file is also steps done. Docker file, like we made the last Docker file, it will be required to build it. What do we do? We will running steps. It will not be that you will not have to build it. Every microservice will have to be made of the image. It will not be that you will have to build it. Okay, do you understand, Baba? ठीक है तो प्रिपेयर डॉकर फॉर कंपोज फाइल विद योर स्प्रिंग बूट एप्लीकेशन विद डेटाबेस उसके बाद कंपोज फाइल बना लो ठीक है ये मैं बताऊंगा कंपोज फाइल कैसे बना ठीक है ठीक है और पुश दैट कोड टू गिटअप अगर गिटअप है तो गिटअप कर दो मेरे पास गिटअप रिपोजिटरी है तो मैंने गिटअप पे पुश कर दिया अदरवाइज इफ यू डोंट हैव जस्ट लॉन्च आई सी टू मशीन एंड कॉपी दैट योर कोड एंड जस्ट अदरवाइज यू कैन ड्रैक in your uh, mobile stream uh, space folder space where the working directory then automatically project is uploaded on your ec2 machine then you can easily work out or so nothing else matlab kya hai yaar hum project hi to le rahe na wahan se main wahan se dal dunga aise koi badi baat nahi second kya kare connect kar lenge uh, clone karenge install karenge kya maven then java ठीक है इंस्टॉल डॉकर फिर करेंगे इंस्टॉल ठीक है और इंस्टॉल करें डॉकर कंपोज प्लग इन ठीक है ये इम्पोर्टेंट है इसके लिए लिंक है वो मैं शेयर कर दूंगा ठीक है पहले तो मैं विदाउट लिंक ट्राई करेंगे है ना अब पहले फर्स्ट वी विल ट्राई विदाउट लिंक आफ्टर दैट ओके टेन आई डिडेंट ट्राई विदाउट लिंक ओके तो पैकेज योर वेब अप्लीकेशन ओके बिल्ड द डॉकर इमेजेस यूजिंग डॉकर फाइल Run compose file, expose the port application inside the AWS security group and access, access, access your application using expose port. Jo expose kar na amne, uske na, us port ke karo. To chalo, pahle dekh leet na apna. Pahle apna application dekh leet na, kis type ka hai aur kya hai. To, where is my ID? This is my ID और अगर मैं दिखाऊं तो मैं PG admin यूज़ करूँगा मैं यूज़ कर रहा हूँ Postgres database ओके बीच डेटाबेस आए मेरे जी Postgres database ओके और बड़ी थी बड़ी अच्छी बात बता रहा हूँ इस एप्लीकेशन में बहुत बड़ी एप्लीकेशन इसमें migration files यूज़ कर रहा है ठीक है क्या file यूज़ कर रहा है migration files you know you not required to create a table, right? Or my JPA bin use kar raha. It's simple insertion like JDBC template I am using. Because right now they are people using JD, JDBC uh, like JPA. Okay. Why? Because JPA is giving a uh, more uh, flexibility. That's why the learning process is downing down. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, kya kara? Just take uh, entity wo define kar di pe ja ke, uh, model class. At the red entity, then data will automatically table will create automatically. All this thing is happening automatically. But right now, what I have done, just create one migration file inside the DV migration folder, and that migration file I configure in that uh, application dot properties file. Okay, and then the properties file. And that will uh, Spring Boot automatically detect that and it will create a uh, table inside the database. So let's see. DB 10 minute series is going on. Postgres DB. DB is there inside the DB. Let's see any tables, register table are there. Just delete this table. Okay. Delete this. Delete. Table is deleted. Now go here. Uh, what is that? Uh, okay, this application we have in that the POM file you can check any thing is the related. This is the dependency required to flyway core and flyway MySQL. 
Library MySQL is not required. Just what I, I forgot it to add it. I forgot uh, actually. Just this one is required. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go. This is your main application. Bean class is there. Employ. Employ ID, name, email, password, gender, note, marriage. Marriage. It's okay. Birthday and occasions. So this is our uh, control uh, in model class. This is our controller. And here you can see this for in the theme leaf. This for the printing your like showing your page. Okay. And this list I have developed for that uh, uh, dynamically it will uh, load the p load that drag and drop inside that profession sections and add into that list of professions where you can go inside the resources template and form is there you can see the this some css i have applied here you can see list of profession where it's down uploading there where it where it's getting from my uh, java code i have mentioned the java code here now so added into the model attribute model dot attribute list profession then return the employee form then this method is only printing the like showing that page this page inside the browser After showing this mass print, just click on register. When you register that, then the, that method is hitting this endpoint, register endpoint, post request, and EMP. So that request will come here in this endpoint. And with the employee, EMP data is coming. That is the binding object is the model attribute bind with the form data. So interviewer asks how to bind the form data in your Java application. You can simply say, bro, don't me ask this silly question. Yaar. By using at the rate model attribute, we are bind the form data into Java application. That's it. Yes, I said data bind over now. Is man, uh, man, subject ko pass kar diya. Uske baad kuch karay tha na? Kuch bhi na kara bhai. Pan smart bande. Kya bolta? Smart bande. Same method bande bana. Thik hai. उसके बाद क्या किया ये रैंडम नंबर जनरेट कर रहा था मैं ठीक है एक्सक्लूसिव फॉर्म से सो रैंडम नंबर जनरेट कर दिया सेट कर दिया ठीक है और बस इंसर्ट कर दिए वैल्यूज ऑन पैरामीटर पास कर दिए गेट एम्प्लॉई से गेट करी आईडी गेट करा नेम गेट करी ईमेल गेट करा पासवर्ड गेट करा जेंडर नोट इज मैरिड एंड गेट बर्थडे एंड गेट प्रोफेशंस और सेट कर दिया इसमें or row not equals to zero ho to success, not failure, then failures as is failing. It's simple application. Okay. Just I will show you. Just running a Spring Boot as the application. Okay. I will show you. Same thing I will deploy. Oh. Well, because some properties file I have changed here you can check local host okay and ITSP is not the DB is there uh, username is I think so post grace post grace right so it's a local thing save this it's run Now it's running perfectly. Now go inside the local host 8080, right? No, just enter. And form is coming, a beautiful form is coming. Ab name dalo yaan, bhai. Name dal de yaan, mera naam hai Vivek. Vivek, mail id meri something kumar at the rate gmail.com. Password 1, 2, 3 bhi dal diya. अब डेट डाल लेते हैं 2024 ठीक है एंड मैं मेल हूं ये ये डेवलपर ही कहां से आ रहा है ना 
ये मैंने वहां पे भेजा ना जावा एप्लीकेशन में मैं दिखाता हूँ कंट्रोलर में मैंने सेट करा ना डेवलपर टेस्टर एंड डेवलप्स इंजीनियर सिलेक्टेड टेस्टर मैरिज यस हाई विवेक फील फ्री टू लर्न कोडिंग दट इफ साइज इज इन लेट सी मे बी साइज इज इज दजिस्टर okay we get some error in that application what is that error a uh, grammar insert registry by loop let's see <laughs> okay maybe registry does not exist relation okay so where is our db <laughs> Where is our migration file? That the DB migration. That the migration ID registry. Okay, registry. Let's be it. Give some time error. Error is error means we get a chance to learn something new. Post grace. Okay, class none. Okay, class none. Bolla. क्लास पाथ डीबी माइग्रेशन हम्म हम्म ओके लेट्स काउंट द पैरामीटर वन टू थ्री फोर Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right, nine parameters we have inside the repo. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. nine. Perfect. Now check the sequence also. Get ID is the first. If column is created or not? Let's see. Table is created. Refresh. Table is not created right now. So why it's still not created? Live A so be execute. Run this right. Mm-hmm. I will update the project forcefully update. Oh, ID. ID. Tiga. फिर उसके बाद नेक्स्ट इज नेक्स्ट नेम ईमेल पासवर्ड जेंडर नोट्स मैजिट ठीक है फिर बर्थडे डीवर्क ओके So wait, wait. First, double just register. Okay. The values insert into register. Registry is not created. Table should created, na? No? Oh, it's not created. This is not executing. There is Let's refresh this. Let's see. Table is there or not? Table is not. Let's delete the DV.
it's using somewhere this is using uh, in the application so stop this wait just delete this thing okay inside the database i'm creating one more db uh what is the db name i just put it uh test 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 no test db post is owner okay inside that uh just give me where is our properties file the test db test post local host perfect control s remove this let's see yes. when validation migration is happening data is not creating let's see mm -hmm. no, it's not refresh this table okay now we got the table okay some something is going on okay now it's right now it's empty so just hit back we wake abc one two three four date mail developer tester married hi yes t test register now here you can see we get the data now now if you want back and add one more record my db name something like admin example and one two three four something date same that is data mail developer devops married dg false ssdf is d1 okay let enter now let's see two result married is false it will automatically come now here you can see that just click on this the two records are there 13 to 26 so now this application i will deploy the database also so don't waste our time and go inside the machine it will take a time guys so aws sign in console just remove this and uh, here also you can stop launch a machine first okay after that i am going to explain instance launch instance one two okay select this one two machine here i am giving all the steps guys here you can see all the steps are there okay here select one two free tire eligibility to micro and ssh how to connect all these things are there okay so now go inside this t2 and create one keep here ub create pam file and ub Save it, launch. Open Mobaxtrum. Mobaxtrum. This is pass local and I got one project to clean. Okay, it's not a long one. As such, I got a trigger. Mega NC2 instance. A pass is C2 instance. Running instance. Uh, not running anything. It's pending. Okay. Refresh, refresh, refresh. It's running Ubuntu. Copy this and uh, extra. now here you can see user Ubuntu. Right now is Ubuntu. No? How we can check that user inside that machine? <laughs> Just select and connect this. And here you can see Ubuntu is there. No? So carefully these things. Ubuntu. Ubuntu and select the UN primary key is okay. UV and connect. Now here. Now Ubuntu is connected with the now this this machine is connected, right? So clear this. Clear just increase the size something. Now inside the Ubuntu, we get one thing. What is that we get? Grid. 
get hyphen b. It is by default it. Sudo get hyphen b. Okay, not a version. I think so, version. Not a version. You can check, right? Let's see if you can check who I am. Who? Who I am. Now here, who I am, not come on. Okay, not working, it's fine. Not a big deal. Clear. Okay, git hyphen v, I think. Hyphen hyphen version, let's see. Now, here you can see, git is already there, okay? Now you can check. It's give, because it's uh, good. This is giving a help to you. Yes. So now we ready to that. Up to that, it's ready. So now go in the compose file. So this is our project. This is our project. This is our migration file. We developed migration file. And this is the creation of table. Okay. So now sudo app.get to install docker here, docker.io. Okay, now here. So now prepare the docker file. Docker file we need to prepare by using JDK21. I'm using and copy the uh, your target, uh, like your source project to the destination, like current working, the current directory inside the docker container. And after that, you can expose your port 808 port for the reading purpose, nothing else and entry point here those people don't know what is the difference between cmd and entry point entry point go and check last videos guys okay but it's okay <laughs> not a big deal i will tell you i will i will i will the cmd other cmd just we can override this command also we can override this cmd but entry point we pass we cannot override this at the time of run, we can override the CMD. Okay, we can pass another command also. That's why it's not recommended in the real time to use CMD. We use entry point. So that's why I mentioned entry point. So now, now main agenda is today is our uh, Docker Compose file. Okay. So now here you can see the services. We first we mention inside that version. Which version you want? Just mention that. Okay version we mention three any version you want just mention and here services so services kya hai? Yeah, services tag hai, hai. Yeah, root tag by root tag services can there multiple services this is made application tiga a yeah, post grace tiga a yeah, do service a yeah, application ki service a mary tiga a yeah, post grace service we have a two services first the applications with the uh, post grace तो क्या करेंगे अपन अभी देखो जैसे ही हमने ये बिल्ड करा ठीक है इसकी इमेज बनेगी वी नीड अ इमेज फॉर रनिंग सर्विस इनसाइड द सर्विस क्लास इट विल पुलिंग अ इमेज ऑफ द डॉकर हैव रजिस्ट्री आल्सो इफ डॉकर हैव रज इनसाइड द डॉकर हैव रजिस्ट्री इज देयर अ डॉकर इमेज इज देयर सो इट विल पुल इफ इट नॉट देयर इट शुड बी इन द योर करंट डायरेक्टरी राइट सो राइट नाउ वी हैव करंट डायरेक्टरी डॉट वेब ऐप Okay, image. When you build that, na, so that that image will available inside the Docker current directory. So that's why I mention here web app image web app like image name. We mention na tag t t hyphen tag. So we may we use as a web app. So this should be name as the same. So now with this one, and we expose the port. What is that port we exposed? We expose 808 our container port. Okay, this is also our running port, right? At the time we run our application now, so that same thing will happen here. Same thing, okay. Now, networks, network means network means Spring Boot DV net. मतलब जिस सर्वर पे ये एप्लीकेशन रन होगा उसी सर्वर पे ये नेटवर्क सेम नेटवर्क पे जैसे 
सपोज करो ये एक वन नेटवर्क है ठीक है इस पर मेरा अप्लीकेशन चल रहा स्प्रिंग बूट ठीक है और एक ये सर्वर है एक ये है एक ये कंटेनर है ठीक है एक ये कंटेनर एक ये कंटेनर सी वन ये सी टू कंटेनर है जिसपे मेरा डी बी चल रहा ठीक है तो डी बी और सर्वर बूथ और डी बी और अप्लीकेशन होने चाहिए सेम नेटवर्क में सो वाई यूजिंग नेटवर्क कमांड बाई यूजिंग नेटवर्क टैग और वी कैन कॉल इट प्रॉपर्टीज वी यूज द सेम नेटवर्क वट इज द सेम नेटवर्क वी यूज स्प्रिंग बूथ डी बी नेट वट इज स्प्रिंग बूथ डी बी नेट इज If your network is different, you cannot achieve this functionality. Okay, so now it depends on this properties is uh, this tag is depends on means this service this total service when used depends on this so total service is depends on Postgres service. Then come here, then Postgres service will execute here. Pull that image. Postgres, okay. Network is same. Environment, ITSP. Just pass your username and password here. These passwords, username we use inside your where Docker. Ah, uh, inside your uh, properties file, right? So that password as a prefix, okay. And volume, where we store the data. Volume mount for the Postgres data. Data Postgres, like we declare as a network in that. Okay. This is the volume for the application. Where are applications? I think this compose file is clear to you. If any doubt about this tags, देखो service tag root tag होता है अपना ठीक है version तो compose का version तो बताएंगे ना किसी चीज का होता है तो version पहले mention करें उसके बाद क्या होता है services 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 के अंदर multiple containers समझ लो ये एक container है भाई ये इतना यहाँ से लेके यहाँ तक एक container फिर ये postgres यहाँ से लेके यहाँ तक एक container तो ये दो कंटेनर हो गए तभी तो बोला तो मल्टीपल कंटेनर इट विल हैंडल कंपोज फाइल ओके तो सर्विस हो गया तो एप्लीकेशन आप अपने एप्लीकेशन को डिफाइन करेंगे बाय यूजिंग एप्लीकेशन टैग तो एप्लीकेशन तो इमेज एप्लीकेशन के बाद नेक्स्ट स्टेप्स में वो इमेज मांगेगा तो इमेज कौन सी देंगे जो हमने इमेज बिल्ड करी है बाई यूजिंग डॉकर बिल्ड कमांड तो दैट इमेज यू कैन पास First, we need to build your image. That's why these steps are step, are following the sequences. The next is next is the network. Next, no sir. Next is the port. When we run our application, we expose the port. Now, hyphen p six zero six zero and eight zero eight zero. Our container port is that time it's eight zero eight. Our uh, host machine port is eight, like six zero six zero, right? Here is our host machine is six zero six. Our container port is eight zero eight. But here we mention both things are same. But you can, uh, if you want, you can change also. I will show you how to change. Now next point is the network. Network क्या होता है देखो ये अगर ये container एक है container दो है अगर इसका network अलग होगा इसका network वो how भी can communicate it is not possible to communicate maybe some other way we have but right now at this moment you don't have uh, this much of knowledge to like maintain this up kind of things so we just declare one networks and that network mention in that network sections okay same networks we need. so now depends on time अगर जैसे तुम्हारी पांच सर्विसेज हैं अगर कोई सर्विस डिपेंड्स करती किसी दूसरी सर्विस पे तो यूजर डिपेंड्स टैग एंड पास दैट सर्विस नेम दैट नेम ये नेम पास कर दो सीधा ये नेम जैसे पास करोगे ना सर्विस नेम तो वो सर्विस उस सर्विस को कॉल कर देगी फिर उस सर्विस पहले एग्जीक्यूट होगी फिर जब वो सर्विस एग्जीक्यूट हो जाएगी उसके बाद वो आपका अप्लीकेशन नंबर तो इन्वायरमेंट क्या होगा इन्वायरमेंट यूजर यूजर पास कर दो ठीक है ठीक है यूजर पास करने के बाद पासवर्ड पास कर दो जो कि हम प्रॉपर्टीज फाइल में कनेक्ट प्रॉपर्टीज फाइल में देंगे ठीक है प्रॉपर्टीज फाइल में देने के बाद कनेक्ट करेगा डेटाबेस सो so, चलो बनाते हैं तो तीसरी स्टेप्स में प्रिपेयर कर लिया हमने डॉकर फाइल और फिर चौथी पुस्ट टू द गिटअप अगर आपके पास गिटअप अकाउंट है तो ऐसे करके पुस्ट कर दो वहाँ पर ठीक है 
और बना दो एक रिपोजिटरी एंड पुश करने के बाद नेक्स्ट स्टेप्स में ये मैंने खरीदी है कंप्लीट ये कनेक्ट कर लिया अपना फिर हम क्या करें गिट क्लोन करेंगे क्लोन योर प्रोजेक्ट इसी टू इंस्टॉन्स और पहले अगर उबंतु है ना तो उबंतु में क्या होता है ना एप्ट यूज करते एप्ट गेट आईफन एप्ट और एप्ट यूज करते एप्ट बट लिनक्स में क्या यूज करते हैं फॉर द इंस्टॉलेशन बाय एम ठीक है यही डिफरेंस है उबंतु लिनक्स में सेंट ओएस में आल्सो सेंट ओएस इज द वन मोर फ्लेवर इज देयर ओके तो इसमें हम यूज ऐसा करते हैं ठीक है भाई अपडेट कर लो जितने भी इसमें आ, क्या बोलते हैं उसको सॉफ्टवेयर होंगे ना रिक्वायरमेंट वो अपडेट हो तो जस्ट बनाते हैं अब पहले ली चलेंगे अपन ठीक है तो फर्स्ट अभी हमने क्या करा अपडेट कर लेते हैं तो सूडो एप्ट गेट एप्ट एप्ट अपडेट ओके नॉट फाउंड सूडो नॉट फाउंड फर्स्ट पेज आई हैव गिवन वन कमांड टू एप्ट गेट ओके एप्ट गेट आई हैव रिटर्न रिवर्स ओके एप्ट गेट इज देयर प्लीज करेक्ट दिस ओके एप्ट गेट व्हाट इज दैट एप्ट आईफोन गेट अपडेट ओके So come here, sudo apt sudo apt hyphen get update. Let's see, it's updating. Updating. Now first we need to clone because right now it's not required. Okay, what is the not required to install Git? Git is by default is available. So it will take time fetching the data. Okay, it's done. Clear. Clear, okay. That's clear. Now, uh, what is that? Git clone, clone our project. Where go inside the repository section? We have dockerized. This one is completed. A standalone is completed. Postgres is there. Now here, clone copy this. Okay, here you can see Docker file is there. What is the target? Dot jar. Why? Because dot jar is here. You can see. Final name be mentioned here web app right so compose file is we mentioned web app network same thing same file I have made put it here okay now go inside this maybe giving some issue what is that issue it will give this file may be giving some issue it's okay fine I will resolve that issue. Here you can see ITSP. This is the username, password is be big, and database also ITSP. Okay, so let's and uh, Postgres. Uh, what is the meaning of these things, guys? Here inside this, inside local host, where we run local host, local host we are passing. But right now, where your database is running, where our database is running, right now our database running in the container. So what is the container name? After the running, I will show you. Container name is the Postgres. Why? Because we mentioned uh, inside the Docker Compose file. Here you can see we mentioned this is the Compose name, Docker Compose name. This is that. Okay. So that meaning. Uh, okay. So go here. Next is git clone. Shift insert, I think. Okay. Now it's cloning. It's cloning clear. Clear. Clear the project. Let's see. CD hyphen L. Oh my god. No. Yellow hyphen L. Okay. Now go inside the CD. Here you can see D for directory. R hyphen means it's the file. Okay. CD. Spring Boot, let's see ls hyphen f. Here you can see the difference. Here you can see that r. This is the file. 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 This is the directory. Now you got one thing. Also, agar aapko kahi pe na aisa dikhe, samle agar wo start ho rahi ho na hyphen jo to samle na wo file hai. 
जैसे इसको नहीं तुम समझ सकते हो फाइल लग गई एक डायरेक्टरी है कि डायरेक्टरी इन लेनेक्स में क्या होते हैं फोल्डर ये फोल्डर है ये फाइल है ठीक है तो इसको देख लो भाई इसके ये मोड्स होते हैं मोड परमिशन मोड रीड राइट मोड ओके तो कंपोज डॉकर कंपोज फाइल है अपने पास ठीक है हियर वी आर नॉट फॉलोइंग द ओके दैट सो आफ्टर दैट वी नीड टू इंस्टॉल वन थिंग मैवन मैवन इज नॉट देयर लेट्स सी इट्स डूडो हम्म व्हाट इज दैट डूडो मैवन हाइफन वर्जन हाइफन बी नॉट कमांड ओके तो व्हाट इज दैट कमांड टू इंस्टॉल सूडो एप हाइफन गेट इंस्टॉल मैवन इंस्टॉल दिस मैवन नॉट फॉर ओके एप्ट सूडो 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 एप्ट इंस्टॉल्स ओके बाय ओके नॉट आई बाय Now inside this, this will install or which version it is installing Java eleven, which I will show you. Okay, clear. Java. Sudo or you can use Java hyphen V. Otherwise, hyphen hyphen conversion. Think V M B N I think so. Okay, M B N hyphen V. Now let's see. Java eleven is installed. Three point six point three is installed. Okay, now next thing is for the packaging. It's a Docker we need. So install what is the Docker we need? Install uh, okay sudo apt hyphen get install Docker dot i Docker dot i. Okay, I just will ask why that's install Docker install. Okay, clear this screen. Clear that. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So now let's see Docker sudo Docker Docker hyphen version. Now Docker is installed. Let's see Docker images. Its permission is denied. Why? Because permission is denied. Sudo System CTL status Docker. It's running. Sudo system status is running. So control C. Okay. So sudo Docker. <coughs> because I didn't pass the name of sudo. Sudo Docker. Okay. Images. No, no images is there. Right. So all things are set to so ls hyphen l. You can see now we need to build our image sudo sudo docker build hyphen t for your tag. Okay, docker we are following naming convention web hyphen app like that and space dot let enter. Now deprecated and building okay layered it will the legacy builder is deprecated and we will remove in the future release install the build x component build the image will build, build kit okay some deprecates and it happen okay so we need to ignore this hold is completed copy fail to fail copy what is that failing Okay, so we need install a Java. So uh, install Java. So what is that command? 
clear okay so here i mention one thing sudo apt install open jdk 17 okay so i need to install this sudo sudo app install java command here you can see java hyphen hyphen okay java hyphen okay java hyphen 17 hyphen jdk now it's installing unable to look at package why it's unable okay jdk open jdk right open jdk Mm -hmm. Let's see too. Open. Open the DK hyphen 17 hyphen 18 or 17 whatever you can install. JDK. Let's see. It's installing by install that. Maybe some Docker permission is required. I will give that permission. Wait. TH mode maybe it will ask you. But first it should install. We did not install the Docker permission. How can we build it? First we need to package our application. Then we can build it. I have forgotten that step. Step. Okay. Don't worry. Clear? So we need to MBN. MBN uh, LS hyphen L. Okay. MBN uh, clean package. Uh, let's see. If you draw a good draw, you can see it. You can see it. Thank you, Bichuro. I have a movie on the Chalta. No, no, okay. So it's going good. So don't think this is the developer. Okay. Skip test. We need to skip, I think so. Let's see. If we build success, then it's okay. We need to skip the test as well. Okay. We need to skip the test. A hyphen D. Skip. Test. Mm -hmm. uh, what is that command? I think this is the command, right? Let's see. Get clone. Perfect building, perfect tests, tests. Okay. Sudo, why is sudo? I don't want to run the test cases, so it's running. Let's see what happened. Uh, the please zone that one the web okay 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 ls hyphen l let's see okay what we need to remove now sudo mbn clean package carefully with this one package uh, hyphen d skip skip tests okay hit enter now it will work perfectly So when you get error, then you will get chance to learn some new thing. Okay. Google, you have here. Just put it this 
thing on Google. <laughs> okay, build success, no? let's see. LS hyphen L. All this command I have given here. Already I have practiced these things, okay? So LS hyphen L, now target is this. Let's see inside the target, what is that? CD target. We as expected, our file is there. Web app dot jar is there. So perfect. CD dot dot. Now, now you can build that uh, sudo uh, docker build hyphen t web hyphen app dot. Now build success. Let's see. Docker sudo docker piece sudo docker images images yeah we have two images open jdk images we pulled and by web jdk we pulled it so why this image we pulled well because we need a compose a cat uh compose docker compose file is there now here you can see we need a uh, web app that's why we now simple use one thing docker sudo <coughs> docker sudo docker compose pull <coughs> hyphen f file name docker compose file okay hyphen ah let's see what happened <laughs> okay sudo sudo let's see just i am hit and running maybe it's giving some uh, okay one sort of thing docker compose hyphen f okay let's see inside this so build docker web app perfect okay next is ps you can see that image we have docker compose hyphen up the use okay let's execute this command otherwise we need to spice the target <clears throat> so docker compose here you can see some command commands control c so docker hyphen compose pose up not it's not. first we install now docker docker not installed docker we installed right so we need to execute the uh, compose file so we use sudo docker uh, hyphen f docker file name what is that file Docker, Docker, hyphen, compose, pose, up. So we need to install the uh, sudo. Docker compose pose hyphen f docker file by ml up. Okay, just remove the docker compose. Let's see, just remove the docker. Okay, um, Pause. Pause. No, yes. no, these commands are not working. So we need to install the Docker Compose. We have put it one, one to you. What is that command? We install, we need to install. Okay plugin okay so this command we have so 
copy this. See. See Kazma. Wait, control C and shift insert. Shift insert. Enter. Let's see Docker iPhone compose iPhone B. Okay, not stalled though. Mm -hmm. It should be work, right? First, we need to give the <clears throat> user to that docker, okay? So, just shift insert, okay? Shift insert, hit enter, perfect. Now, other thing need to copy. Where is the error? Oh. Okay, so where is our <clears throat> okay. inside this version Docker Compose? Otherwise, you can search on the internet. Don't worry. Yeah. Wait, shift insert. Yeah. Now it's installing. Let's see. Could not resolve post sudo. Why? User mod g docker one two and sudo yes, you name as yes, you name my enough. Okay. Why it's not resolving? This whole branch. No, no, no. This version up to this is not required. Whatever compose up to this should be installed. Could not resolve post docker. I can compose, pose, I can be permission tonight. Pseudo docker, I can compose, I can be not there. Okay. It should be, we need to do some thing. Uh, we miss some. Commands because I'm doing some. Now put it this whole command copy and so in desktop or the move extra shift insert. Okay, it okay. Now let's see packing all this thing, fetching the loading, failure writing output destination. Great. Okay. CD dot dot and shift insert. Okay, let's see. Okay, what did the sudo sg user is it docker ubuntu user more sudo docker get testful. Let's see, we put it on sudo. No. What happened? Last I want to update get a sudo app update.
Patent. Okay. What happened? <laughs> so I need to run only compose file. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So just I'm thinking sudo uh, change the directory as so cd. Okay. ls hyphen l compose file is the docker compose sudo sudo here we put it on thing you follow these steps but i have changed some steps now sudo apt like these things i have installed docker in some other flavor so that's why it's getting issue well, because i didn't use uh, like get dot docker i installed docker dot io right so that's why it's getting issue Oh, okay, I will resolve it. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Nearly this is what I have written to you. But one more time, I just press testing. Okay. Sudo chmod x could not, could not, could not. Okay, let me check. So we need <clears throat> we need a like sudo curl same command guys same command. I just update the command like sudo ch mode we need a sudo ch mode x user inside this command I missed that okay so just I am updating that command here okay up to this copy docker compose okay so come here and sudo here this is not taking up yeah like this like this you can use it okay so it's going good so now let's see sudo <coughs> sudo docker <coughs> hyphen compose pose b Let's see if you get it now. So docker hyphen compose all these things is good right up. Let's see. Permission denied sudo composer. Okay. Permission denied. Okay. Local host is running. Daemon HTTP docker in local. Sudo, sudo, not pulling Postgres image, okay, here you can see, observe this, so sudo is the important, that's the root poser if you trying to modify anything. So right now we see the two containers is up and up and down. Okay, double containers. I find D also you can use guys in detached mode. But I don't want to see the detached mode. So it's enabling all these things. Let's see. Now here the your application is right now this port is 8080 so i need to expose that port so inside the ec2 <clears throat> running instance is there ubuntu select security group guys guys come back okay inbound rule 
जस्ट एड द रूल कस्टम इज कस्टम हियर इज एट जीरो एट जीरो आई नीड सो आई वॉन्ट एनी वेयर टू एक्सेस ना इज द लोकल होस्ट जस्ट गो इन साइड द टी सी टू लेक दिस डिटेल कॉपी एंड पेस्ट हेयर कॉलन एट जीरो एट जीरो बिफोर यू यू कैन नॉट एबल टू एक्सेस राइट नाउ इट आल्सो यू आर एबल टू एक्सेस राइट राइट नाउ वेयर इज दैट राइट नाउ वेयर इज दैट इन साइड दैट इसी तो मस सीन वी डिप्लोइड अवर वेब एप्लीकेशन नाउ इट्स कंप्लीटेड नाउ लेट्स सी जस्ट इन साइड द डेटा सम हेयर विवेक ए वी सी वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव Date some mail developer devs marriage yes queue register now data is there okay never now here is the ID fifty five full name this this ah uh, register page again I need to again one more ah uh, we'll change the data like this name like uh, Ram father name email I think ah uh, do do an email Kumar password one two three a date of birth just dummy date of birth mail developer is the tester hi 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 tsp <coughs> tsp okay then register now two records we inserted inside the database so now my next is agenda is i need a uh, inside that uh, container inside the container i need to go so just open this it's clear now here you can see uh, sudo docker ps okay now here we running a two containers web app and postgres right that's why we you can see the name of that uh, here The Postgres is name is there, no? so this is the name that uh, that name by using the name we can interact with our containers. Okay, what is the meaning of the interaction with the containers? Like we have one container, okay, inside the uh, what is that? Inside that, uh, uh -huh. where is my pen, guys? so we have a docker machine inside the docker machine to right now two containers are running c1 c2 assuming here we are running our spring boot application and here we are running our db right db by using this port number by using this port number we pass that port name inside this okay inside this properties file that's why they are interacting with that uh, Container right now is container name is Postgres, so that's why it's intact. And every container having a different ports, okay, different ports. But okay, we can expose by using this port is different. This port is different also. Okay, if you can see, then XC mode we can go inside that also. Uh, like inside the Docker, we can check our uh. What is that? Uh, data is inserted or not? Let's see. Go check. Do some analysis. Okay, about the data. Come. Mm -hmm, okay, perfect. So now, uh, what is that command? Uh, go inside. I want to see that uh, container. So now, what is that command? Sudo Docker. Sudo Docker. Exe. This is the more advanced command. Inside the interactive mode, I want what is that container container name Postgres shift insert and slash win slash bash at enter no such container Postgres why diamond response from no such container okay container is there but why it's not maybe And this because of this file name is not there. Okay, 
डॉक सूडो डॉकर पोस्ट ग्रीस लाइक दैट वी कैन गो वी नीड आई थिंक इज देयर राइट बिन डॉट इन द कंटेनर वी कैन गो कंटेनर आईडी लेट मी चेक इफ इट इज पॉसिबल जस्ट जस्ट जूम आउट लेट सी वन टाइम आई विल ट्राई डॉकर सूडो डॉकर सूडो डॉकर पी एस ओके so now this is the name of our container okay this is the name guys mm hmm hmm copy this name it's copied okay uh sudo docker okay exc hyphen it interactive board and uh, uh, container name paste it and uh, what is that uh, win slash win slash bash now is there any ce sudo docker and container is and there it's not sudo should be work here sudo ex ec hyphen it uh insert this this command here this need insert okay space bin space slash bin slash bash now here you are come inside that container right right here you can see inside that this is nothing but your container this is not your database right this is not your database guys this is not your database okay this is your uh, machine this is your container container machine container machine is also one virtual machine like linux machine kind of thing okay so now here you can try to connect right this is also a container machine let me connect with that our uh, post here is data with what is the command we need to see inside that uh, how to connect post grace in container aws docker container okay so we need uh, some command inside the stack overflow So Docker run the Postgres is the name secret secret we need. Okay. PS we get exit we get it PLS kill is the name. Okay. Postgres Postgres. Okay. So copy this. Let me execute this command here and shift insert. Let's connect it or not. User is not PLS kill but role Postgres. Is there a PLS kill you post Gris user is post connection to server socket systems. Okay, does not exist. Okay, let me check some other. Copy this. You can check. 
Okay, somehow I think it's work host server host. Okay, so what is that local host? Okay, type and p post is connected, not connected. Okay, mm -hmm. what is that? Um, your host name is post address. Username here you go. It's asking user password for your post we wake. Okay, what is out we wake? No, it's not asking. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hyphen P also you can mention. But I have given a uh, password as a Vivek now. Let me check inside that uh, image. Vivek, I think so. You put it as a password as a Vivek user as a ITSP. Let me pass user as a ITSP. User hyphen ITSP. ITSP, right? Uh, pass Vivek. Connect. Now you are connected in that database. Now let's see. Uh, select uh, show DV. Think see this command is working. Not. Uh, how we can see all the tables uh, slash td tdt. I think so. Slash td slash td. I think so. Yeah. Now here you can see. Registry table is that one. Select star from registry. Well, mistakes. Well, is this okay? Select star from. Three column text column not Okay, maybe or two two rules there use. Let me see. Let me check in the registration. It's giving something. Last EL we entered. Okay. ITSP is the run. Okay. ITSP, ITSP is the So some commands may be the run. Some tables data. <laughs> there are also putting something else. Let's see something in the documentation. They, they are giving a creator table, right? But how we can see the data?
wait, wait. Like that, you can do more things. Maybe not there. Okay. सी कोई तो बता रहा होगा भाई कोई तो बता रहा होगा कि हम डेटा कैसे देख सकते हैं पुल करी इमेज भाई ने और डॉकर इमेज जेलस कर दी उसके अंदर चला गया ठीक है भाई एलस करके और भाई ने फिर पीजी एडमिन डॉकर पुल डॉकर डम पीजी कर दी भाई ये तो भाई पीजी एडमिन खोल दिया इसने But I don't want to use a PC admin. Yeah, just I need that. I have also shown you what I want to see that. रिलेशन ओके <laughs> it's packed not i don't want to pack the data this is not the proper example so no 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 wait so we have a registry table okay so now by using select to start from registry table like that we inserted the data so vivek ram we inserted two row let's insert one more record if it is running okay it's running so name is itsp and email is abc password is 123 and date we can change 13 to 06 30 30 okay mail developer and married good working perfect register now here you can see just hit enter select star from registry sorry right Now here we get three records. Okay, Vivek Ram and ITSP just we inserted this record. Now that like that you can uh, zoom in a third row. Cap Control C. Cancel the request. Yes. Control X. Uh, how we come out from that? Yeah. Uh, control C. Enter Control C. It's just refreshing the page. Escape and hit Enter. Escape and hit Enter. Okay. Control Alt. Enter. No. Okay. Insert this. and oh, is there any end button okay let me check uh, 
Okay, now we get the record. Exit. We need to exit from the database. <laughs> Here is some thing is happening in our server. Okay, we are accessing data. So that's all. Control steps. Okay, now just I will put this command for your reference. Okay, how to go inside this database? I'll see. Container first, you can check the container is running. Okay, first, you can check a container running container perfect docker ps postgres and pass the name of the tcp uh, where is the name entry and that's okay copy this copy and uh, come down at the end page we add some pages okay this is last paste here okay so not record this okay so now right here go inside database Check, sorry, check data inside side database in running container container That's running container running container using some command CMD using command some CMDs some commands we use. Okay, just copy and I need to read this color. Perfect. So now we go by using uh, this. We need to that username. I you can name. container running name and uh, port name port number okay port number perfect and one more thing that's a user username take a and uh, this is when you come and it will ask a username password enter your password and this table also all these things and come here paste this just a little bit just stretching come here one thing okay just enter now just uh, let's see now after that you can just hit the select star and data will come okay now copy this and paste it here. Good. So now select select the star from from registry 
Now three records are there we have, right? So now just exit and exit that, exit, exit that from this also. Alt C, the exit, exit, then exit, then come back into a machine. Now copy this and come. Exit from database, database machine, database prompt, and container, container machine. Machine also. So one thing you can see here, this is nothing but container machine. Perfect. So now up to this is completed, guys. So we deployed our all this application compose is completed it will take i think so two or three hours because we are doing some random things to see the data so after that you can just remove all this yes i don't want to run this just stop this and go inside this and delete this resource and just select this terminate and terminate this then will 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 not generate it will will be not generating after you delete it it's the set down it is a setting down okay so now some do random things we have done now it's deleted no running container it's in the some other state so we will meet next video or next some other random things we will discuss how many some one revision session i will provide it not practical totally just we learned how many commands for this and what is the use for that commands docker file docker compose file and why we use docker and spring boot with docker uh, Maven simple application with Docker, AWS with Docker standalone, right? And REST API also, and uh, web application and database also, database with the composer. So, thank you. We will meet next sessions, some other sessions. So, I'm planning Linux. Okay, thank you. Thank you for watching.